Good morning, dear students of class 8. Welcome to the English online learning class. Today, we are going to take up paragraph writing. So, when you write a paragraph, you write the heading on the top. Now, take for example, the heading of this paragraph is my mother. Now, you are going to describe about your mother in a paragraph. In one single paragraph. The very first thing, this is just an example. You can include many other points. Now, first, you begin with some details about your mother. Like my mother's name is, you write your mother's name. Then, some quality in general. <clears throat> my mother is a symbol of strength who holds the entire family together. She is a homemaker or if she is doing any work, a teacher, a doctor, any profession that she has by profession and is a very friendly person by nature. She is a very caring person who showers love and affection on all the members of our family. So you have mentioned a quality some of the qualities of your mother. Then she is a connecting link between different members of my family as she binds everyone together. So you have described her qualities. Then she sacrifices all her wishes, needs and desires to see a smile on my face. Now what sort of personal bonding your mother has with you? She helps me in my studies, guides me while doing my homework. She, her love towards me is unconditional and she takes care of me and the entire family. She provides a safe and secure environment for me and protects me from all the evils, the bads of the society. Then a wish for your mother. I pray to God to keep her hale and hearty and protect her from any illness. So like this, you can attempt a paragraph describing your mother or any member of your family or any person you admire. Now trees. Now this is another topic that we are going to discuss today. Trees are significant for life on earth. Significant means important. Without trees, the earth will get dead and dry. There would be no water and downpour and no backwoods by any means. Forests. Trees gives us oxygen, shade, food grown on the ground more. Though even they provide us with food. They likewise fill in, fill in as a home for about 10,000 types of flying creatures, birds, variety. 10,000 variety or more than that also. Trees structure backwards. So they are uh, important uh, because they, uh, they, uh, are, uh, they, they make forests. Without trees, there would be no woods. Woods also, uh, it's trees provide. People and creature need oxygen to live. Indeed, even fishes need oxygen in their gills. So every creature needs oxygen and which is provided by the trees. The trees make that oxygen. Trees inhale carbon dioxide, give out oxygen. Two major trees can create a year's oxygen for your family. Without trees, there would be no life. Now here there is a small correction. Trees can create a so you, you should always be revising your work. Trees can create a year's oxygen for your family. Without trees, there would be no life. Flying creatures have their houses on trees. Flying creatures are birds. Then it is the main house they have. They additionally get food for from trees. Even they provide uh, the mm, uh, food to the birds. People likewise eat natural products giving given by trees. So they provide food for mankind also. 
also they sell it in the market for cash so the wood they sell for cash a few trees give us medication also medicines also oils elastic etc trees hold the dirt during downpour they make the place very uh, beautiful you and another thing students um, one should always be planting trees now my best friend a best friend is the most special treasure in our lives among all my friends you can name your best friend we have been best friends since time he studies in my class and we sit on the same bench he respects teachers and elders at school you have mentioned the quality at school we go to the library read our favorite books we share our lunch boxes at school and play lots of games together in the playground we write our homework together he has a brilliant handwriting we love spying, spending time with each other so you have described your best friend like this you can use your own ideas your own thoughts for writing this is just a sample then my school how you are going to write a paragraph on my school my school is one of the best schools in the country you can also name your school it has a huge campus the number of playgrounds one of the front and the others behind the school building i along with my friends regularly play dodgeball or basketball or cricket any game at one of the playgrounds we also play cricket football hide and seek in the playground my school has a lot of gardens the classroom in my school are big and tidy they are big and wide windows for good ventilations we have green boards smart boards also you can include chalks dusters projectors in all the classrooms apart from classrooms we have practical labs art and craft room music room and schools and staff rooms you can also mention canteen we have also a library where we can borrow and read books on a variety of subjects all the competitions and cultural events take place in the auditorium or hall of my school the best thing about my school is it has lot of creative and dedicated teachers they love all of us they teach us well and help us whenever we have any doubt they teach us subject like maths english hindi evs or any other subject you can also mention social studies etc i truly love my school very much so you can um, close your um, paragraph by a concluding sentence so we have revised how to write a paragraph today thank you students